In April, Governor Mike DeWine announced the addition of Mahoning, Trumbull, and Columbiana counties to the Jobs Ohio Network. The nonprofit takes money from state liquor sales to boost economic development. So is this program helping downtown Youngstown? A spokesperson says despite the recent announcement, they've actually been making an impact here for years. And as Corey McRae explains, they plan to keep doing just that. Jobs Ohio started back in 2011 after breaking away from the state's Department of Development and going the private route. And after tens of thousands of jobs moved away. The nonprofit raises money through profits on liquor sales, which they say is turned into economic growth and development in communities throughout the state. In April, Governor DeWine announced that Mahoning, Trumbull, and Columbiana counties would be part of the seventh and final Jobs Ohio region, although the program has been working in the Valley long before that. Really in the last four years, we've had a 34% increase in deals in, in, in the Lake to River region, a 23% increase in, in new jobs, and a 61% increase in the payroll associated with jobs. So not only are we, are we bringing jobs back, we're bringing better paying jobs back. The center of the region is Youngstown, where in light of the realty building explosion, businesses there have dealt with a number of setbacks. We have our small business and community program that focuses on communities just like Youngstown that have a ton of potential but that have lost some of the momentum that they need to keep to keep moving. Squire pointed to the Youngstown Business Incubator as a testimony to the programs. He also says it's up to communities like Youngstown to figure out how they want to market themselves while Jobs Ohio looks to attract new companies to the Valley. With more local news, I'm Corey McRae.